Now, everyone, gather round. Can I stop digging now, Bump? Are we going to start building the foundations for the skyscraper? Not today. We're not going to dig or build anything. What? Hey? Huh? Because today, I've planned something different. A training day. Yay! A training day! Awesome! What's a training day, Muck? Oh, it's a... It's a... Oh, Bob, what is a training day? It's a day when we learn and practice skills, Muck. So it's all about solving problems together and helping each other out. We're going to practice working together as a team by playing some games. To start off, we're going to split you into two teams and have a race. Yay! I love races! My team, come over here, please. That's Lofty, Dizzy and Stretch. <laughs> <laughs> and Shifter, Muck and Scoop, you're with me, so come over here, please. This is so exciting. I love being out of the yard with you guys. Uh, Bob, what about me? We can only have three in each team, Rolly. So will you help me judge the winner? And you'll be in a team next time. Yeah, no problem. Where do we go? Over there, please, where those posts are. What do the teams have to do, Bob? They have to pick up those rubber tires one at a time, take them across the site, and put them over these poles. But each machine can only take them part of the way. It's called a relay race. Wow! Great! Looks like they're ready to start. Ready, Bob! OK, Bob! Oh, here I go! Uh, Shifter, when you're ready... Oh! <sighs> I'm on it! Dizzy. Go, go, go! Come on, Muck! We can do it! Yay! Here you are! Let's go, go, go! Yes! Perfect! Yes! Okay, guys, keep going. Two more! Scoop, it was a draw. What do you think, Rolly? Well, I think... Yes? They finished at exactly the same time, Bob. Told you so. Oh. Now, for the next exercise, you're going to work in twos. Shifter, would you mind watching this time? No, that's fine, Bob. Each team has to work out a different way to move this big stone. So, Lofty and Dizzy, you go first. Oh! Yeah! Oh, I can't really help, Lofty. But I think you can lift the stone with your grabber, can't you? Good thinking, Dizzy. Let's see. Is that right? A bit lower. Yes. Hold it there. Hello, Gull. Well done. Good teamwork. Okay, Rolly and Stretch, your turn. Okay, you got it. Oh, I wonder where Gull's going. Can you pick it up, Stretch? Oh, not a hope, Rolly. Oh, oh no. Where are you off to, Gull? I bet it's somewhere exciting. I bet you could push it. Okay, I'll give it a try. Careful, Rolly. You might squish it. Very funny, Scoop. Nice and slowly. Hey. Yeah. Ah, yes! It's moving! Great! Well done, Rolly and Stretch. <sighs> now then, Muck and Scoop, let's see what you can do. It would move if we both pushed it at the same time. But we're not allowed to push it, because that's what Rolly did. Think about working together. Uh... Oh, oh, I get it. Where are you going? Push the blade of your bucket underneath, Matt. Like this? Yes, 
Yes, that's right. As far as you can. OK, are you ready to lift? Yeah, I think so. Right, on three. Three, lift! <laughs> yes! Now we have to move it. I'll come forward, you back up, OK? OK, take it slowly, Scoop. Ready? Now! Yay! Look! We're moving it! Well done, you two! Yes, you work together really well there because you listen to each other. <sighs> oh, I bet Shifter could lift that stone up really easily. I don't think so, Scoop. It's very heavy. Where is Shifter? He seems to have disappeared. Huh? Hmm. It's not like Shifter to go off on his own. He doesn't know his way around Spring City. We'd better go and find him. Wendy, Stretch, would you please stay here in case he comes back? OK, Bob. Will do. The rest of us will search the city. OK, team. Can we find him? Yes, we can! Everywhere. Where else can he be? Help! Oh, help me, someone! Can anyone hear me? Hold on. Did you hear that? Hello? Huh? Shifter here. I'm stuck. <gasps> He's behind that hill. Quick, let's can go! Me? Help me! Hey! Please help! We're here, Shifter! Shifter, what happened? Are you trying to be a digger or something? It's not funny, Scoop. I'm really stuck. Can you help me get the right way up? Why don't you pull your forks out? Because I can only move them up and down. And when I do that, this happens. <laughs> hey, cool! Do that again. No, Scoop, please. I, I want to get the right way up. How about if I have a go at pulling you out with my grabber? Oh, thank you, Lofty. Oh! I'll be very careful. Oh, oh, ah, ah! No, 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 stop! It isn't working, Lofty, it isn't working! Sorry. It felt like my cat was being pulled off. Oh, dear. If only Bob was here, he'd know what to do. Oh, no, I forgot Bob! I left him outside the shopping mall! It's all right, Scoop. I'll phone Bob and tell him what's happened. What are you going to do now? How are you going to get me out? Um... Bob would tell us to work together, Scoop. Like we did with that stone. Oh, brilliant, Muck. Really? Yes! We can use our buckets to lift Shifter out of the ground. Then Lofty can do the rest. OK. Oh, oh, this won't hurt, will it? Of course not. Just relax, Shifter. Leave it all to us. When you're ready, Muck. OK. Lift! What on earth? Uh -huh. It's working, it's working! Yes! Woohoo! <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you! Thank you, everyone! That was amazing! Well done, team! Are you okay, Shifter? I'm fine now, thanks. Oh, Bob, I saw a gull and followed him. I thought he was going somewhere exciting, and now I've messed up training day. Well, yes, you shouldn't have wandered off like that, Shifter. But you gave Lofty, Scoop, and Muck the perfect chance to work together to solve a real problem. Yes, and we all really listened to each other, didn't we, Scoop? Sorry, Muck, what did you say? I said... Oh... 
I get it. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Scoop. <laughs> Today, we're going to put in some raised beds and build a garden shed for Mayor Madison. Oh, what's a raised bed, Bob? It's like a flower bed, Muck, but it sits above the ground with wood around the edges. That's right, Lofty. We're going to use these old wooden railroad ties. Oh, there you are, Bob. Hello, Mayor Madison. All ready to get cracking on my amazing flower beds. And my vegetable garden. Oh, yes. I've agreed that Mr. Bentley can have two of the raised beds to grow his vegetables. Oh, yes. I'm going to grow carrots and turnips right. and potatoes. Oh. And That's today. enough, Mr. Bentley. No one wants to hear about your turnips. Uh-huh. Well, then, team, we'd better get started. Lofty, can you unload Muck, please? I'm on it, Bob. Thanks, Muck. Now. I need you to go and pick up some manure from the stables at the racetrack. Manure? What are we going to do with that? Manure is very important for gardens, Muck. We mix it in with the soil to help us grow extra tasty vegetables. Yeah, and brightly colored flowers. Oh, that sounds lovely. OK, then. Manure for tasty vegetables and bright flowers coming right up. Actually, I'm not sure I like the idea of Mr. Bentley's vegetables ruining the look of my beautiful flower garden. Huh? Don't worry, Mayor Madison. Once we've built the raised bed frames, we can move them around. We just have to make sure wherever they are, they'll get plenty of sun. And they're in a place where you can easily water them. Good. As long as Mr. Bentley's turnips are out of my sight. I think this might turn into a bit of a long day, Bob. I think you might be right, Wendy. But... <laughs> Can we build it? Yes, we can! Something is really smelly around here. <laughs> Hi, Curtis. Hi, Alfred. Howdy. Hello, Muck. Whoa, stinky. What have you got in your dump bed, Muck? It's just some manure. Oh. It makes the vegetables and flowers grow. It's very, very smelly, that's for sure. Oh, so that smell I smelled just now was me? Oh, no. I don't like being smelly. Uh, see you later, then. Bye, Muck. See ya. Oh. Excellent. All coming along well, Bob, except... Uh, yes? I think Mr. Bentley should only have one raised bed for his vegetables. What? But no! And it should be right in the corner, as far away from my flowers as possible. Oh, no. Don't worry, Mayor Madison. I'm sure we'll find just the right places for all the raised beds, so that everyone will be happy. Hmm. Stretching is a very important part of keeping fit. So, stretch. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Maybe if I sneak past, Sky and Dash won't notice my stinky smell. Now breathe in and imagine yourself on a beautiful beach, Dash. That does not smell like any beach I've ever been to. Uh. Uh, Mark! What on earth have you got in your dump bed? Oh, uh, it's, a uh, manure, Sky. It makes the flowers and, um... Uh... Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just go. Oh. It's... it's at the back of my eyes.
Oh no, it's the Spring City Rockets. I don't want them to smell me as well. I think I'll go the long way around. Maybe if I go fast enough, no one will notice the stinky smell. Thanks, Lofty. There we are. That's out of sight, isn't it? No, I can still see it! What if we put it right next to the shed? You'll hardly see it at all there. Hmm, but I'll still be able to see it a bit. <laughs> Don't worry, Mayor Madison. I'm sure we'll find just the right place for it. Up we go again, Lofty. Hmm. I think closer. Here? No, 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 no. Further away. Okay, as long as you're sure. Oh, no, no. Mm. No, no. Uh, Maybe over, over there. there. Huh? What? I think further away. No, oh, no. Closer. Further away. Uh, closer. No. Nearly there. Oh, no! It's Philip! I don't want him to think I'm stinky! Don't worry, Mom! <gasps> Slow down, Mom! <laughs> Be careful, Mom! <laughs> Uh-oh! Mom! Oh. What on earth is going on? I'm sorry, Bob. I didn't like it when people thought I was smelly. So I went the really long way around so people couldn't smell me. And then I, I got late and in a real rush, and then I... <laughs> it's all right, Mock. It's all right. And you're not smelly. It's just the manure. Yes, Mock. And we'll give you a good wash when you get back to the yard. Oh, really? Yes. And after that, you'll smell as fresh as one of Mayor Madison's roses. Oh, well. No turnips for me. Oh, at least the beds for my flowers are still all right. Uh, what's the matter with Mr. Bentley? Mayor Madison didn't want his vegetables to ruin the look of her flower garden. It's a shame vegetables don't have flowers on them. Then everyone would be happy. Wait a minute. You might have something there, Muck. Really? Yes. Mr. Bentley, mm -hmm. don't some vegetables have nice flowers on them? Oh, yes. Lots. Runner beans, tomatoes, even turnips. Oh, uh, uh, look, that one's a pepper. In that case, you can have a vegetable garden and a flower garden at the same time. Oh. Oh, yes, you can. You just need to plant vegetables that have flowers on them. Wait! I've just had a super-duper idea. Oh, no. What would that be, Mayor Madison? Why don't we have eight raised beds instead of six? Tasty vegetables and lots of flowers. Thank goodness. Okay then, team. We'd better get going. We've got lots to do. We can still get this done on time. Oh. But only if you can pick up some more wood muck and the soil to mix with the manure and bring them back quickly. Don't worry, Bob. I'll do it. Great. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. So there we go. Eight raised beds and a garden shed. Oh, looking wonderful, Bob. It looks marvelous, Bob. I can't wait to taste the vegetables. And I can't wait to see all the flowers. Oh, oh. oh. what is that smell? It's manure, Mayor Madison. It makes the vegetables and flowers grow. Well, um, I think I'll come back when they've done that. Oh! 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 <gasps> oh! <gasps> oh! <gasps> oh, dear. No! Oh, get me up, Mr. Bentley! Get me up! 
Yes, yes, of course, Madam Mayor. I'm so sorry. Well, <laughs> at least you're not the only one who's stinky now, Mark. Hooray!